are many things I hate in this world. War, death, how the media is trying to get us to eat bugs, and identity politics. I have been a Bernie supporter since 2015, and I still support him now along with Tulsi Gabbard. I consider myself a social democrat, not a democratic socialist. Those are two different things. A democratic socialist is basically a socialist. A social democrat is basically a capitalist. And speaking of capitalism, let me take a minute to get into today's sponsor, Rage Shadow Legends. Capitalism, get that coin. <laughs> That's right, gamers, it's your boy Raid, Shadow Legends. The brand new RPG game that is taking mobile gaming and YouTube by storm. More than 10 million players worldwide have already downloaded the game in less than six months. And the best part, it's free. <laughs> Collect over 400 champions. Explore over 1 million champion builds. Discover 13 spectacular locations. Raid with friends in a clan. Enjoy a fully voiced story campaign. Claim glory in the PvP arena, and personally customize your champions, choosing their artifacts and creating a unique mastery build for each one of them. Plus, the highly new anticipated Faction Wars feature is now live. What I like about this game is that everybody can find something they like. Some like the deep storylines, the graphics, fighting with other players. I personally like... the pretty outfits. But don't just take my word for it, I am but a humble Raid salesman. With over 300,000 reviews, Raid has almost a perfect score on the Play Store. There's an awesome rewards program for new players. You get a new daily login code for the first 90 days, 100,000 silver, plus one free champion, Hexweaver. So hurry up, that offer only lasts for 30 days. So go down to the video description, click on the special links, and maybe I'll see you there. <laughs> Imagine fighting for the same shit for like 50 years of your life, even when it wasn't popular to do so, like gay marriage or being against the military industrial complex, the media, the establishment, everyone trying to bring you down, everyone on your own side trying to smear you, rigging you out of an election, then you running again, only for somebody wearing a bootleg shitty mask of your face to appear, then all those same people that were trying to bring you down, kissing that person's ass and saying things like, they're like you, only a woman, so it's good this time. Why would you pick Sanders over Warren? So is she the better version of a Bernie Sanders? For she's mm -hmm. sort of a better version of Sanders. Uh, however, she's a presenting herself as a better version of Bernie Sanders. The better Bernie. Bernie Sanders makes my skin crawl, and I can't even identify for you what exactly it is, but I, I see him as sort of a, a not pro-woman candidate. And so having the two of them there, like, I don't understand young women who support him. Basically, at this point, if you are still supporting Sanders as opposed to Warren, it's kind of showing your sexism. You hear that? If you don't vote for the woman, you're a sexist. We could easily play this game. You wanna play this game? Why do you hate the Jews, huh? If you like Bernie, why not just vote for Warren? Cause she's a whammon. Vote for a whammon cause she's a whammon. Hey media, how about this? The suffragettes didn't fight for my right to vote, so you could tell me how to vote. <laughs> there is this type of Democrat that I like to call the neoliberal wine ant. Now keep in mind, they can be men or women. Wine ant is a gender neutral term. The hashtag resistance crowd, the President Pelosi, yes queen, slay crowd, the orange man have tiny hands crowd, SNL's target demographic, who put identity politics over policy issues, everything else. And they are, to put it lightly, a cancer. Recently, AOC endorsed Bernie Sanders. AOC committed the number one sin of the liberal wine moms. She dared to support an old white man. Why Bernie? Did you meet with other candidates? I did, yes. Senator Warren? Yes. Did you notify her? I, um, I had a conversation. And what was that conversation like? You know, is there something you weren't hearing from the other candidates, namely the candidates of color, the female candidates? You know, for me, as a woman of color, 
why back an old white guy? And if Senator Warren is a nominee, will you support the Democratic nominee? And you would think she murdered a puppy on live television, judging solely by these reactions. Well, 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 look who's a little foot soldier for geriatric white patriarchy and wants to prevent women from ever breaking the glass ceiling. To me, this is sad. Hoped they would back a woman for president. 2020 election needs a woman. Oh, AOC, really? We've done the white male thing. Every woman in Congress should stand in solidarity against the elderly white patriarchy and endorse Kamala Harris or Elizabeth Warren. Or Amy Klobuchar, if you like a scrappy underdog. There's really no excuse for a woman to be endorsing an old white guy in this race. Not a one. First of all, I love how one woman in particular is conveniently missing from their tweet. Second of all, yeah, there is a reason. Uh, if you like their policies better, that's a pretty big reason. AOC, you should endorse Senator Women. <laughs> Senator Women. <laughs> Senator <laughs> Senator Warren. Two fake Democrats whose sole mission is to destroy the Democratic Party from the inside. That rules. That's badass. Did you mean that to sound bad? Because that's awesome. <laughs> He's older and angry. Isn't Warren progressive enough? I will vote for a doorknob over Trump. Who wants or needs to see two older white guys yelling on stage for hours? Nobody. Nobody needs that scene. I need that scene. I want to see Bernie and Trump go at it. I want to see the grandpa fight. Ick. Why is she endorsing a 79-year-old white man? Because she f and Ken. AOC is no different than Ivanka in my eyes. Same daddy lust. What? That's it. I'm right wing now. I give up. I'm right wing. Someone call PragerU. Get me my own talk show. The libs have officially pushed me to the right. I find it fascinating that women of color overlook female and minority candidates to endorse a white guy. Is identity politics over? Is ideology more important than race and gender? Yes! It's like they almost get it. They support liberal white supremacy. And Bernie is the lead sheepdog. They're all just liberal white supremacy. <laughs> what the? I don't want to see Bernie or Biden or Beto. All white guys again. We've got a lot of talent on that stage. No more old white guys. Time for a change. I like AOC and the rest of the squad, but I'm not with them in supporting Bernie. We can do better. What the hell does this even mean? Like, do they not listen to the words coming out of the brown lady's mouth? Do they not notice that the words coming out of the brown lady's mouth are basically the same things coming out of the white man's mouth? Do they not care? I'm so disappointed in your endorsement of Bernie Sanders for president. Elizabeth Warren is the better choice. <laughs> I'm allergic to bullshit! I, I don't know why you would pick RC soda when, like, Coke is right there. I don't understand, whatever. We have had more than enough white men in charge. It also spoke volumes that he did not attend any of the LGBTQ town halls. It speaks volumes. First of all, he dodged a bullet by not going to that town hall. Anna, thank you guys. And my pronouns right. are she, her, and hers. She, her, and hers? Mine too. I'm sick and tired of old white men in the White House. It's time for a woman. It's time! It's time! But not that woman. No, she, she's clearly a Russian asset, so she doesn't count. This is extremely disappointing. As progressive young women, how could they possibly endorse another angry old white man for president? Like, okay, if we're gonna play identity politics, if we're gonna play that game, all these middle-aged white feminists, like, wagging their fingers at these, like, women of color, like AOC, there's something really <laughs> funny about that. AOC has a history of not endorsing women slash POC candidates. No surprise she's endorsing Bernie. So in other words, my donations will be going to Kamala Harris and Amy Klobuchar tonight. The ones who keep fighting the good fight. Kamala Harris, this woman. Donald Trump in office on trade policy. You know, he reminds me of that, that guy in The Wizard of Oz. You know, when you pull back the curtain, it's a really small dude. 
Okay. Like everything is so surface level to these people. They just want their girl bosses. They just want their slay queens. They just want their more female drone pilots. Imagine being so fucking privileged that the gender of the person you're voting for is the most important thing for you. You know, not who's gonna help the poor and the working class more, not who's going to get us out of all these endless wars. No, 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 no. Vagina. No joke, these people would vote for female Hitler over a man. No principles. Policy be damned. You'd think after 2016 they'd learn not to do this, not to pull the vagina card. By the way, that's a real thing. That is a real thing Hillary Clinton sold. Mystery why she lost. <laughs> Pathetic. I mean, I love Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is the best. So that is all for this video. If you guys like this video, if you like listening to me talk about politics, the election candidates, if you like political theater and the drama that surrounds it, definitely check out my new side channel, Brainlet. I'm having so much fun on that channel. Um, it has not hit 100,000 subscribers yet, so get there so you could say you were there before it was cool. It's not cool, it will never be cool, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Big huge thank you to my patrons. You make it all way less painful. If you guys wanna support me on Patreon and join my Discord server, we talk politics in there all the time. We have many debates, many fights, good times had by some. And I will see you guys next time. Ali, who are you voting for? Joe Biden.